Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to Tom Spark Reviews. Today I'm talking about my mid 2023 VPN tier list update. These are going to be my top five VPNs that are all in S tier. So guys, I'm going to be walking you through these VPNs. Keep in mind, unlike most other videos on this on YouTube or on the internet, these VPNs are not sponsoring this tier list. All of them have gotten there by their own merit. And while I do have affiliate links in the description down below, which you could click on and help support the channel, none of these VPNs pay to be on this list and I don't work for any of the VPNs provided. Also, if you don't want to help support the channel, you don't even have to use those links at all if you don't want to. But keep in mind that those links usually have some form of discount in them um, that are provided to my audience as a benefit to you guys. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and check out the rating system and what defines these top five VPNs, since that's how we pick them from our objective system. So guys here, if you haven't seen already, this is my tier list. Um, you could see the individual ratings here, and this is where we have decided on these VPNs. This is a very data-driven approach. Unlike other YouTubers, we'll just pick the VPNs that offer them the most money to be picked in the top five places. This is a very strict criteria system, and we've even made updates to it here this year, just now in June. And you can see more details on what the specific updates to the tier list system here, which I will always keep up to date. Usually around every six months or so, I will add new requirements and kind of make sure things are exactly what you guys are looking for when it comes to VPNs. So guys, first up, we're gonna be seeing something like TorGuard. Um, now TorGuard here, if you click on the link, um, is an excellent VPN. And now what exactly does this VPN do well? Well, if you look at the score specifically, um, it's just all around a very solid VPN. It's extremely affordable. The application is very feature rich. It has V2 Ray support, as you can see here, is a new requirement this year. And you can find that in their premium proxy service. Um, if you click here on anonymous proxy, you could get their V2 Ray support. So this is kind of like a separate service. And I do have a uh, code that I'll put on the screen here. Um, I can't remember it right now. You'll get like a discount on this. So this is separate than a VPN service, but it's very related to VPN in that it's one of the best ways to unlock censored access in places like Iran and China. Uh, this is pretty much from what I've found from talking to users in Iran and China, the only VPN solution that works and no other VPN offers it. So that is a really good plus for TorGuard. Additionally, TorGuard has excellent live chat, excellent customer support. They do well in the privacy audit, a perfect score. Now, why do I recommend this to people and why is it my top rated VPN? Well, it's because the price to performance ratio. It's got port forwarding. It's exceedingly cheap. Um, if you look on the website for the normal kind of plan, which most people will be fine with, you could get it for around, um, if you use my promo code THOMASPARK2023, it's around $5 a month or $30 a year. It's even cheaper long term if you get a long term plan like the three year plan, which is $140. But with code TOMSPARK2023, it's only going to be around $70. So, yeah, the value is insane. If someone tells you they found a cheap VPN, they're not telling you about this one. This is the cheapest by far. Like I said, the price to performance with TorGuard, I actually get the fastest speeds out of any VPN. So that's really nice. Additionally, they also have Soxide proxy support. I've made a couple of videos on it. Just look up Tom Spark Reviews Proxy or something like that on YouTube and you'll find my video about it. It's really good to plug and play in your BitTorrent application. You just type in the URL proxy.torgo.org port 1080, your login credentials, and then you never really even have to worry about using a VPN anyways. It's included within TorGuard VPN's package and some VPNs don't even include Soxide proxy support. So that's really good. So guys, that's TorGuard, and you probably could tell why it's number one rated on the tier list. Next up though, we have Hide.me. Now Hide.me is considerable length behind TorGuard for a lot of those things we mentioned. However, Hide.me is still an excellent VPN product. If you click on this link here on my tier list, it'll take you to this very good deal. Um, if that's around a three year plan, um, it's gonna be around $95. This is pretty much cheaper than any other VPN besides TorGuard directly. And with here, you actually get built-in streaming compatibility. Whereas TorGuard, you do have to get the streaming bundle on their website. Um, I've made videos about that if you're interested in TorGuard streaming bundle. Basically, it's for people who want to unblock specific versions of Netflix, like the Japanese version of Netflix, if you want to watch anime or something like that. If you just connect with TorGuard regular, you're just going to be able to see the Netflix originals and not specific content libraries. So that's something that Hide.me is a little bit better at than TorGuard is that it builds it in and it's a little cheaper for that. Additionally, you get two more simultaneous devices um, than TorGuard. 
So high.me, it is not quite as fast as TorGuard for me specifically, but if you don't have a gig connection, you're not really gonna even really notice, but it does lose a couple points there, at least for me, since it can't max out my speeds in the same way. However, that said, it's just as private as TorGuard with an excellent privacy score. Um, the customer support's very good. Um, the interface, it's a little different from TorGuard. It has more of like an old school vibe about it. Right now, my plan is actually expired. It, it just expired today. Um, but it's it's a little bit more usable than TorGuard in some ways. You could kind of look around the settings and stuff when you are um, connected and switch things pretty well. It also has split tunneling, which is nice. But I do think the appearance um, kind of looks a little bit out of date. So it's better in usability in some ways, but it looks a little more outdated than TorGuard. Um, so that's something to think about too, if that's a big deal to you. Um, Hide.me is also working some things that TorGuard does have. It's working on an ad blocking feature that should be coming out soon. It's also missing a Linux GUI, dedicated IPs, and a couple other things like that. But overall, it's an excellent VPN. One that's really good if you don't have a gig connection, um, you'll get decent speeds anyways and it has that built-in streaming compatibility and it's very private. So overall, Hide.me is an excellent VPN. And like I said, if you click on that link, you'll get this specific deal, which is the best deal you'll find anywhere on Hide.me. All right, guys, next up, we have something like NordVPN. Now, NordVPN is an interesting VPN um, because it does some things very, very well and other things a little spotty on. Um, now, why would I recommend NordVPN for you? Well, if you're someone who really wants to unblock geo restrictions, like I mentioned before, this is gonna be the VPN to choose. It's very, very good at that. Uh, in some of my tests, it unblocked like 15 unique regions on Netflix, which is really cool. Um, there are some kind of hiccups with the new Netflix password sharing feature, but NordVPN also has this really cool thing built in called mesh routing. Now this is a very unique feature from NordVPN um, with your subscription is that you could kind of create a local area network and even connect to it remotely, which will kind of bypass some of those restrictions put in place by Netflix. So this is a very good VPN for unblocking G restrictions. It's kind of like, it's like a little powerful niche that it's um, kind of really delivered on. But outside of that, um, it's very fast. It's probably the fastest VPN alongside TorGuard. And we can see that kind of in my results here. Um, that's there. Where does NordVPN fall flat then if it's so good at streaming and speed? Well, it does need to improve some things on the back end. Some of the website has too many marketing trackers um, just to probably maximize its sales. And some of the pricing things are a little kind of manipulative, I would say. Um, it can be kind of hard to find when to get the best deal on Nord, depending on various sales throughout the year. Using my link though will probably generate you the best deal you can get right now as you're watching that. So make sure to use the link if you are interested in the best deal. Um, that said, um, Nord also could improve. Uh, you know, it's not as good as TorGuard as unblocking things around the world. It doesn't support V2 Ray, but I really do like that mesh work um, routing feature. So if you're interested in that, um, I would say if you really want the stream compatibility, Nord is really good. Um, outside of that though, it's also very user friendly. Um, if you're looking for maybe the most usable, most aesthetically pleasing VPN with the best speeds, then that probably would be Nord VPN. It's a little bit more expensive than TorGuard, but the aesthetic and usability factor is better as well. So if that's something you value more, Nord VPN is a really good choice. Now guys, we can also talk about private internet access. Now this one's kind of got a little bit of a bump this year, um, just due to a combination of different factors. Private internet access is very good for a couple different reasons. Long term, it's very cheap at around $57 for two years, which is really good. It also has a very, very good application. One of the better ones I would say, right up there with TorGuard. Um, that said, its speeds aren't really optimal for me. Um, it can't max out my gig connection like Nord and TorGuard can. It's more similar to Hide.me in that aspect. I feel like some of the servers are a little bit overloaded, but if you're anywhere between 100 to 400 megabits per second, you won't really notice it. Overall though, it could improve some things in its privacy aspects as well. But as a whole, some of its parts, it's a very solid VPN. Last up, we have Proton VPN. Now, Proton VPN is an excellent VPN. It's definitely going to be more pricey than some of the other options here on the tier list. Um, however, if you get the two year deal, it's not a bad price. However, as you can see here, they don't even list the price, which means it's, you can tell it's a little bit more expensive. It's going to be around $120 for two years. So it's by far and large the most expensive VPN here on this list. That said, Proton is, as a whole, a very good VPN provider. It does excellent in its privacy. Um, it's decent at streaming. 
um, and its application is very good and polished. Um, out of all of them, I would say like Nord, it's probably one of the better looking ones. However, the usability kind of takes some getting used to. They kind of design the application a little different than other VPNs, which is why I kind of bumped it down a little bit there. But as an aggregate as a whole, it's a very good VPN. Um, if you're looking for probably the most private and kind of transparent VPN um, combined with that usability factor, I would say Proton is the one to pick and it's definitely a solid choice. However, it's not quite as fast as Nord in my tests or TorGuard, so again, that's something to think about. All right, guys, as you can see, there's a lot of nuance when it comes to picking the perfect VPN for you. And that's why in this section, we're going to summarize exactly which VPN is right for which person. So guys, if you're looking for the most affordable VPN, the best bang for your buck, I would go with TorGuard VPN. It simply can't be matched in terms of its budget and speed to ratio, and its features are out of the book. However, that said, if you're looking for something that's a budget-friendly option that's also good with streaming, you might want to check out Hi.me. It's not quite as fast, but depending on your speed, if you're around 1 to 400 megabits per second, you're probably not going to notice it, and as a whole, it's also a very private VPN provider. That said, if you want one of the fastest and best VPNs for streaming with an amazing graphical user interface and stuff like that, and you don't mind paying a little more, NordVPN is an excellent choice. Just keep in mind some of the privacy backend things might bug you, uh, you know, if you're really someone who values those, you know, perfect scores in terms of the privacy. They have some marketing trackers on their website and stuff like that. And some of the pricing tricks can be a, a bit annoying when you're purchasing it. But if you purchase with my link and you just kind of go for a long-term deal and kind of keep an eye on your subscription, then you should be okay. Private internet access has a good blend of kind of everything. Its application is solid. Um, its speeds are more similar to Hi.me, but as a whole, it's a very good VPN in terms of its some of its parts. It's, I wouldn't say it's really excellent at any one thing, but a combination of the factors does give it a high rating. Now, Proton VPN, while it's probably the most expensive VPN here in this recommendation, it's probably the best one in terms of the privacy combined with the um, kind of modern feel of it. It also works really good with streaming compatibility. You know, with something like Nord, um, you kind of sacrifice some of the privacy aspects, I would say, of TorGuard, um, you know, in favor of its pure performance and usability. But Proton has a better blend of that, I would say. So it's also a really good choice. Anyways, guys, I hope you found this list very useful, a little bit more nuanced and accurate than some of the other ones on YouTube. I can't just say for a fact, this is the best VPN for everyone, no matter what. That's why I believe there is no perfect VPN. It just depends on what you need a VPN for. Anyways, guys, I'll see you in the next one very soon.